Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Yes, this is your girl Bernice and I'm back with you with another video. And yes, if today is the first time, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And as you can tell from the title today, I'm going to take you through some of the important steps that you need to take before you actually take your bags and go to Ghana or Gambia, Senegal, I'm going to Nigeria to stay and live my life, okay? or wherever you're relocating okay these are very important steps that you need to consider if not you feel yourself stranded and you think why did i not think of these things before i actually made the move okay i'm here to help you this is the little of my knowledge that i know and i hope um it helps your journey and i hope that you know it's going to be beneficial to you and yes yeah, so Thank you so much also for your support i've hit my 1k and i'm so grateful thank you all for your support the love i feel it and yeah thank you so much god bless you all now let's get into the video so the first thing you want to consider or do before you go to ghana is visit several times go on several holidays and don't go when it's peak if you go in christmas time you know that things are going to be slightly expensive because a lot of tourists um coming in therefore things are more expensive than they could be in a different month okay if you want to visit make sure you're going to ghana different time of the year and not during the peak time that's when you can really experience what actually it takes to live in ghana mainly relocate okay explore and see that you have actually seen everywhere and it actually is actually the place that you want to be okay visit several times before you actually make your mind that this is the place for you this is where you want to live this is where you want to invest your money this is where you want to one day raise your kids okay that is very important and even for business wise if you want to grow if you want to make money you need to make sure that whatever you are planning to do wherever you're going is going to benefit you and benefit the society to you financially and also the society that you're going in okay secondly once um, you have actually visit several times you also need to make sure that you've got the good savings before you go the amount of money you have actually saved will determine how long you're gonna stay there for because if you are actually going there and you have no job then it's gonna be hard for you you need to make sure you have good savings because if you're going to rent a place it will need money if you're going everywhere and anything you're going to do you will need money involved that is Africa okay and that is Ghana okay you also need to have a plan you need to have a good plan of what you are actually intend to do and how long you want to stay there for if you are thinking of um make doing a business you need to plan out your business you need to several times that you have visited there you need to know your contacts or how you can contribute in your own way uh, with your plan you should know what you actually want to do if you are starting a business you need to know the business uh, structure that you want to really have and how it's going to benefit you how many how much you're going to make and how long it's going to take you to make profit so um with the money that you have saved that's actually going to keep you going or step you back okay because if you don't have enough money then it's going to step you back and it's going to delay you into making the profit that you want to reach okay you also need to have good contacts okay so the several times that you have visits you need to know people you need to mingle with the people there because in ghana you always need someone okay and most of the things that you're going to need especially when it comes to registering and all that you need to know someone if not it's going to take you forever okay it's gonna literally take you forever so have good contacts is very very important to have okay get to know people make friends and yeah because sometimes the people you meet you never know who's gonna help you tomorrow you also need to plan where you're going to stay are you going to stay in Accra are you going to Kumasi are you going to Sunyai are you going to the Volta region are you going to the central region you need to make sure you know where you're going and if you're visiting a family or you're going to a friend and if you're going to a friend you need to know how long you're gonna stay there for how long you're actually gonna last you know because sometimes people change things change so you need to plan all this you need to see whatever you're going to do in the long run okay so if you're visiting family if you're going to stay with the family you can take your time and actually you know with the little money that you have 
bring with you you can invest into your company directly because of course you wouldn't have to pay rent but if you are not uh going to a friend or a family then you know that you're going to rent a place or are you thinking of buying you need to take all this into consideration before you even make any decision make sure that you have explored the country okay ghana is not just accra the capital um accra which is the capital is very demanding you need a lot okay but if you move if you visit kumasi and you know that your company or whatever you want to do in ghana will actually suit Kumasi, move to Kumasi or stay in Kumasi for a while. Um, study the structure, study the place and see what you can actually do in order to move your business or whatever your plan is back in Kumasi or Sunyai or the Voto or the Central region. Okay, you need to explore, you need to know what will benefit you or where will actually benefit you, okay? Because if you limit yourself to Accra, you know that Accra is demanding, Accra is double of the money that you invest in accra you invest half of that in other places okay you will spend two thousand dollars inside accra outside accra you spend maybe thousand dollars or eight hundred dollars okay and that already makes you save money so take all that into consideration and one important thing also is understanding the culture so you know that africa we have a different mindset we have a different way of seeing things so if you are visiting or if you're moving back please make sure that you understand the culture it's not the same as abroad it's different so if you go to ghana and you expose too much you come across that people look at you differently it's what it is we are not raised like that we tend to cover ourselves a bit more so you study what's actually good for you and good for the place that you are and then you fit yourself in in order for you to be happy and feel comfortable okay just study and uh, cut your coat according to your size where you are so if you go to ghana you know that you don't expose much you can still be yourself but not overdoing it just like you can do in abroad and it's normal in ghana it's not normal in africa it's not normal okay especially in the muslims countries such as um gambia and other places they tend to cover themselves more ghana you've got a, a large mix christian and all that but um so things are not as tight as gambia but yeah it's still the same you need to respect how the culture is and this brings me to the end so if today is the first time don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and yes i hope you enjoyed this video let me know in the comment section if i missed out anything next time i'll mention it in the video and yes thank you so much i love you all and i'll see you again in my next video bye